Let's talk about link block. Link block is pretty similar to the div, but with the link block you have the ability to link your content. You can link your content to take you to some internal pages of your project, some external links, some sections in your web page, or even to generate phone calls and emails. You can make all sorts of links, starting simple like this text, or you can make a button like this, or you can turn this image to be a clickable link, or even turn this whole section into a clickable link. In this video, I'll show you how can you use links in a div hunt. For the first example, let's make one simple button. Let's place it in my hero section right under this h1. And to do that, let's select this div here and let's add one link button. I can add it by simply going here and left click. Now I have my link button and when I zoom in you will notice that it's just a simple text but with a little bit of designing we will turn it to be button. Let's go to the design and for the beginning let's set background color. Let's go it is yellow. Now let's add some spacings. Let's start with top and bottom margin and as well let's add left and right. This already looks like a button now. But let's make these sharp edges a little bit curved. Let's go and set border radius to be something like 15 pixels and we have our curved edges. Now let's edit this font here. Let's for the beginning add font color. Let's go with black and let's increase the font size. Let's make something bigger like 22 pixels and let's set font weight to be semi bold. Now I have my button ready. But it's not functional yet. And how can I make it functional? Well, that's pretty simple. All I have to do is select my button, then go to the settings panel, and here I can choose from variety of options. First on the list is the page option. With this option, I can set that my link takes me to some pages that I already have on my project. For example, let's set this link to take me to this about us page, and I can do that pretty simply. Let's go back to the settings of my link and first of all, let's change this text here. Let's change it to say about us. Now, let's link it to the page. Let's select this page option and in this drop down, I can just select about us. Now, you'll notice that as soon as I added this link, this underline has appeared. And how can you remove it? It's pretty simple. You just need to go to the design and into typography option, you need to click on these three dots while your link is selected. Into the decoration panel, you just need to set none. And that underline has disappeared. Now, let's go to the live site to see what we've done. When I go and click on this button here, you will notice that it takes me to about us page just as I set it to. Let's go back to the builder so we can see additional options. For the next example, I'll make another link. But this time, let's make it a little bit simpler. I'll select this div and set another link button inside of it. Then I'll set flex center option to this div, just this text to be centered with a button and let's add a gap of 45 pixels. Now let's make this text here a little bit better. Let's add font color of black. Also I'll increase the font size and finally set font weight to be semi bold. Let's go back to the settings to see what's the next option and that is link. Here you can paste any external link you want your button to take you to. For this example, I'll use one YouTube video. So let's change this content here to say amazing video for the example. And now all I have to do is go to the YouTube platform and select video I want. Here I am on a Deep Hunt channel. Let's select this video for example. All I have to do here is right click on the video and select option copy video URL. You can also just go into your browser and from the window copy the URL directly. It will work either ways. Now let's go back to the builder and set this link to our link block. Let's select this link block here and let's select link and into this link field let's just paste our URL. And this will now work. But let's talk about this option new tab. With this option you can tell to your link block when it opens this link to open it in a new tab. Let's check it for now and I can go back to the live site to see what I achieved. When I click on this link button here you will notice that my page refreshes because it's opened in a new tab and my video starts playing. Again, let's go back to the builder to see what additional options we have. 
Next option on the list will be the anchor option. With this option, I can tell to my link to take me to the section in my web page. And to demonstrate you that, let's use this simple text link. Let's change its content to say testimonials. And let's go and choose the section on my web page which I want my link to take me to. Let's scroll down a bit and choose between these sections. Let's go with this one. All I have to do here is set ID. Let's go with testimonials because that's all this section is about. Let's copy this ID so I don't have to type it twice and now I can go back to my link. I just need to select it and again when my anchor is selected I just need to paste my ID here. And to quickly mention here you can put this anchor to anything. You don't need to put it on section. You can put it on cards, on text tags, images. You are not limited with that option. Let's go back to the live site to see what we achieved. When I click on this link, you will see that it scrolls down to my testimonials section just as I set it to. And that is what the anchor option does to the links. Let's again go back to the builder to see the last two options we have for the links. The next on the list is phone. You can input the phone number here and when you click on the link, it will open the application for the phone calls. Same is for the email. You can input the email here and you can also input the subject. And when you click on the link, it will open the application for the emails and it will automatically set the subject into your email. After we went through all of these linking options, let's go back to the page link option and let's talk about this REL field. When I open this drop down here, you can notice three options. And the first one on the list is no follow. What this option does is basically tells to the search engines, don't pay attention to this link. And the use case of this would be when you're using some paid links, for example, and you want to enhance your privacy. The next on the list is no opener. This helps protect your website from potential security risks associated with opening external links. And the last on this list is no referrer. This attribute ensures that no referrer information or the information about the referring page is passed to the newly opened page. All of these options are used to enhance privacy and security of your web page. After we went through all of those options, let me show you one final example so you can see that you are not limited with the link blocks. For this example, let's choose this card to be our link. And I can do that pretty easily. All I have to do here is add one link button and after that I just need to drag this whole structure into my link button. Now all that is left is functionality. Let's set this to be page and from this drop down let's choose our theme page. And again you can notice this annoying underline. I'll show you now how can you turn it off globally for all link buttons. Firstly I need to select my link button then go to the selectors and choose global A. All of the changes I do here will be applied to all link buttons on the website. So let's turn the decoration to none. This means that all of the link buttons that I add and the previously added one will have this option. So I don't need to worry anymore about underlines. Let's go back to the live site to see how our card works. Let's click on it and you will notice that it takes me to our team page just as I wanted to. And to summarize things up here for the link buttons, you can use them to connect your internal pages or you can use them to input some external links to our web page. You can also use some variety of other options. I hope that you learned something new in this video and I'll be seeing you in the next one.